Technology is becoming a greater part of our lives every day with the prevalence of smartphones and tablets. As a result, technology and social media are changing nearly every aspect of family interaction. In today's Health Check, Delane Cleveland looks at how a program is teaching adults how to parent in this digital age. And then what we do is we scoop the dirt into the container. Education is a lifelong journey. Okay, that's going to be good enough. And while there are kids in this classroom, you get to sprinkle seeds on top of the dirt. These particular classes are aimed primarily toward the adults. I know nothing about toddlers and babies, so when I had my own, I thought that this would be a great way to learn about their development and just what, how to be a good parent. Emily Wells is here with her three-year-old son, Gregory. We need water and soil. She's one of more than eight. 800 people who take classes at the Early Childhood Family Education Center in New Hope on how to become better parents. We facilitate classes that are parent-child interaction based and so the parents um, come with their children, they spend time together with their children in the children's classroom and then the parents separate into a parenting education time for the second half of the class. Learning proper parenting techniques will be relevant for people of any generation, but these days Seemingly everyone has a smartphone by their side. I have a hard time not checking my email and my texts when I hear, you know, the dinging and things like that. And I try really hard to put my phone in another room so I can just concentrate on my children. She's not alone. As a result, in the past five years, parent educators have put a greater emphasis on how to parent in a digital age. The parents are coming in and saying, what, what do we do? Help us to figure out and navigate this with us. It's an important topic because of the significance of face-to-face -face conversations. Parents and children shouldn't have to compete with technology for attention. That face-to-face -face interaction is, it's, it's everything. This is kindergarten readiness. This is 21st century fluencies. This is what we know our kids need to have um, when they grow up and to be successful members of a community. While smartphones and tablets are great tools, parents need to set limits for themselves and their kids. As we get older, um, I think it's really important for us to realize what our own usage really is. For Emily's family, she's come up with a strategy that so far has worked. We really um, kept them from watching TV and uh, I think it's really helped because he loves reading. He reads at least 20 books a day and I think um, not watching TV has helped him be an avid reader. In New Hope, Lane Cleveland, CCX News. <laughs> For any parents interested in learning more about this topic, there's a conference at the University of St. Thomas on Saturday called Reclaiming Face-to-Face -face Talk in a Digital World. For more information, you can check out our website at ccxmedia.org.